Hello everyone, this is Farrell, and uh, I'm bringing you back here on the Spawncraft server, and I know it's been a little while since I've done a Spawncraft video, uh, and that's because I've kind of been doing a little bit of fooling around on the server. Uh, it, it turns out, uh, you know that villager that I've got over here that I've got tucked away? Uh, turns out he has some pretty crazy ideas, and um, I got myself so wrapped up in helping with him with one of them, I just kind of wanted to show you what we actually have been working on, and... Um, well, we've got it hidden away for a very good reason. Because we really don't want this kind of thing to come out to the public. Uh, I'm going to kind of give you a little bit of a sneak peek here. Um, that's a DeLorean. And there's just a little bit of extra equipment here. Uh, there's that little Y-shaped thingy there. And uh, a little bit of a power supply for it. Uh, Doc's pretty sure this could go back in time. No, I'm not entirely convinced myself, but, well, you know, it, i, I got to give him a little bit of a, of a chance to kind of prove himself here. Now, fortunately, I am underground. Uh, it's not raining right now, so I don't have to worry about anything silly like lightning striking this thing. Um, but I do need to kind of make a little bit more room in here, because obviously we've got to try to get this thing out. And fortunately, I came across some... Uh, some trees here, and uh, just a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, getting rid of these from under here is kind of interesting, because you wind up with these little cavities and everything, and you have to be really careful when you're doing this to not inadvertently leave them unlit. And this one even pokes right through to the... Uh, oh, heck, this pokes right through the main, to the outside with that, even. So, yeah, I've got some uh, work to do here, and... Yeah, let's actually kind of get, I don't like carrying around all this extra junk, so let's just kind of throw this into uh, into these hoppers here, and, you know, it, it, just get it out of the way. I mean, I don't need to carry all this junk around, right? You know, free up the inventory. What was that? No, 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 no. no. Hello, Internet. It's Farrell, and guess what? I finally got working. That's right. The Wacko World Map. More specifically, the Wacko World Over Map. The Overworld Map. So, the trick, if you've been trying to work with the world at home and have been having no luck in actually being able to use it because the map lags out and crashes the game after a few seconds, uh, get in there open the game to land, switch as creative mode, switch over to creative mode, and issue the uh, kill, the slash kill space, uh, ampersand, not ampersand, um, at symbol E, open bracket, type equals exclamation point, player, close bracket. That will get you all of the mobs killed, uh, quite literally, and... I think that the entities that are not being found may have been what was causing the problem. So you can see it killed off quite a few entities, and uh, after I did that, I've also switched over to peaceful mode, so that should effectively stop everything. Unfortunately, this also means I've probably killed off all of the villagers in Old Border Village, but, well, you know, what can you do? Uh, needs are as needs must be. So, let's start off our tour, and this is the first time I've actually been able to see a lot of my place from uh, this perspective, which is kind of nice. Now, we're going to start off at the Science Center slash hub, another hub, which, um, actually, let me also do... There, now I'm in spectator mode. That's a little better. So now I can get under here. You can see, yep, there is a, there is a sheep who met his untimely demise as a result of my commands. So the idea was, uh, for this another hub build challenge, was to build a rocket and have it kind of in the middle of, you know, right at the point of launch. So that would be why we've got the, the flames coming out the, the vents underneath the launch pad and why the lava's down there and everything and why it's all uh, kind of blocked up here. So you come down, your uh, train actually you can kick out on either side really, but uh, just uh, kind of designed to be a stopping point on it. Now the... Uh, thing to keep in mind is also that this was originally intended to go out to the old border, and the old world border actually ended right about here. This is the original endpoint of the 
uh, 2000. Looks like if I've got uh, if I've got my map view up, you can see I'm almost at block 2500. So this is where the the border effectively ended previously, and not much ever really got built out here. I kind of enjoyed a nice quiet end of the map. I uh, never really built anything beyond what you're going to see coming up on the hill there. There's that cobble pillar is also part of the uh, marking point for the original world border. Over here we've got the rollout ramp from the vehicle assembly building and the next rocket to be launched, Spumcraft 1. Uh, this never really got finished either. Um, it was one of those things I built this up and it took quite a while to build it and you can see I'm nowhere near build height. Really what I should have done was come up to about here before I even tried to build the rocket or really more ideally built the rocket first. That's why this is a very short, stubby, tiny little rocket. Um, there's honestly not much to it. It's hollow inside, but that's about it. Uh, there's some engines down at the bottom. I've got my little uh, redstone that plays the Kerbal Space uh, theme music, Kerbal Space Program theme music. And then, of course, we've got the VAB itself. Um, it looks about, uh, not quite scaled, but this took quite a while to build uh, to get all the andesite together, so that's why I kind of eventually got to a point where I think I just gave up on it. Uh, over here we have the Old World Border Village itself, uh, my main gate here, which is actually got was one of the last things I rebuilt on the server, uh, just because it was originally over and it was slightly off originally, and uh, when I redid everything, I kind of recentered on the main door here. Uh, this was all going to be kind of little huts and houses that I could kind of extend the, the villager farm into. Um, the original bridge, or the uh, bridge itself through town. Uh, also the first stage of my sheep farm. There's going to be a whole other matching building over here that would have gone with it. My uh, ghetto farm, which probably... Oh, I jumped way down. Yeah, there's the uh, remains of everyone who was in there. Uh, you can see the redstone for the sheep farm is driving down there. You can see I've done pretty extensive exploring and mining, not so much over in that direction. Kicking myself now that I'm seeing that mine shaft over there. I didn't even realize that was there. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that could have been so much fun. But yeah, I primarily stuck with kind of the area areas in and around uh, where I was building out here. Let's go back upstairs and yeah, through the uh, yeah, I killed off all the villagers when I did that command. Oh well. Um, this is my villager holder, my very basic villager trader. Um, I mean, I didn't really do much with anything. I had clerics, librarians, and crafters, and everyone else had pretty much died off. Um, I don't know how that yellow sheep survived because that is indeed the color I was raising for the next lane. Um, I wonder how much actually survived in here. Should be nothing. Hmm. Are you actually the right color for that lane? No. Okay, yep, so that was just a random spawn. Um, the sheep spawner, uh, I really should have just kept this simpler and gone for two less rows on it. This took forever and a day to build, unfortunately, and that really kind of turned me off on the whole entire process. Uh, it is not a, I mean, really what was killing me, ironically, was just having to get all the dirt in here and then all the signs and then everything else just to try to, to get everything together just took forever and a day and I was constantly screwing up the front of it, so, mm, never again, um, which is now why I've somehow mentioned Shanghai myself, Shanghai myself into the Guardian Farm on a new server. Uh, the, my building style was going to kind of be along the lines of these two buildings here. Uh, not so much wool, because that was a little difficult to put together before I had the uh, the sheep farm, but certainly this would have been a pretty good approximation of what I had in mind for doing some of my buildings. This is my main build here. Um, something else I can tell you I'm never going to do again is never going to do another piston uh, jump to get into any place I'm working on, because I spent, wasted so much time banging my head into this thing and not getting up here. Uh, everything I have for explorations up here, I still had tons of glass left over. Um, mm, 
kill entities kills off armor stands. Well, that really sucks, because my backup set of armor was on that. And I've lost my primary set on this save because I died in the middle of the ground somewhere. But yeah, uh, this building never got connected up on the second floor, and there's nothing put in down here. I kind of left it open as, hey, if anyone wants to, to move in, someone could. Um, the intent over here was I could actually get into my chests, a good number of the chests from the bottom. You can see I'm completely out of dirt. Kind of decent on some... Oh, there's my dirt. Okay. Decent on some other supplies, but that's about it. Um, and then, of course, my cathedral. I'm... This is the first big build that I've ever done in Minecraft. And I'm less than thrilled with how it turned out, to be honest with you. The front of it, I'm absolutely happy with. This whole front portion, where it's wide open to the outside, and I've got the glass, and I've got the archways, and I've got the clay in the background. I love how all this turned out. It looks great. And then I get to the look at the side, and I hate it. At this point in the build, I was just throwing stuff in there just to get it done, just to get a roof on it, just to do anything to finish it off. I'm not happy with that little thing. There used to be a little dangly bit coming out the top and over the side that I got rid of. That's the only smart thing I ever did. I liked how the end of this came out. The end of the, the hallway there came out okay. The arches, not so much. I should have stuck with stone on those uh, for the support beams. And, yeah, I mean, it's not... Between that and the roof, I did never finish the roof on this. It needed to get all done all the way back. And because I wasted so much spruce on building these stupid support beams, I got way off. So, anyways, all of this is... That, I, I would have gone for just solid colors straight up through the whole structure, too. So I've got my beacon down there and the entryway here. Uh, the interior, you can tell I, some of the stuff I wanted to do in here, I actually did in my, in my portal hall on the other wall. There should be supports going across this all over the place instead of right here at the very end. And even this is kind of meh-ish. I should have really stuck with, uh, solid stone for that. The fences, uh, were here more to find a way to hop around. Uh, I do like how I managed to integrate the uh, zombie spawner because that is down here somewhere. Uh, where are you? Anywhere. Okay, just a little further down. And a little bit further over. Yep, there's my zombie spawner and the drop shaft to get them actually up into the zombie chamber. This worked out pretty good. It's close. The nice thing is it's at Y44. So you don't have to go down too much. This is my kind of AFK room here to that was just good enough to get the zombie spawners to activate and still be close enough to the surface here to be able to come back up and kill them off. And I did lose the ability to uh, separate out uh, villager zombies from regular zombies, and that really would have been a, crit, a fatal omission. But, you know what, it was either one or the other, and if I had gone the route I needed to make the mechanisms to sort out the villagers, this whole room wouldn't have really come out looking the same. So, this is my portal. I designed the other end to have purple glass to kind of mirror it and anchor it on both sides. I probably should have just made that portal and linked it up anyways. So, Old Border Village, Zombie Drop Farm, Villager Training and Spellcraft Science Center, we're out that way, and of course we have Akatan no Zombie. Uh, the original Pranker by Magic Jade, and this is actually why I'm here today. I'm trying to get this to work for a very specific reason. Now, I'm still going to continue this tour, but what I am going to do is actually seek over to some slightly different content. And you'll see why in a little bit.